Run it back, Philly! No frauds, no fanboys, no intros. Speaking of depth, the Philadelphia 76ers will guarantee DeAnthony Melton's $8 million salary for the 2023-24 season. Melton started 58 of 77 regular season games and played an average of 10.1, uh, had an average of 10.1 points per game with the Sixers last season. So at least they keep DeAnthony Melton for another year. I really, you know, I'm a huge fan of DeAnthony Melton. At least it's a guy that, uh, you know, is just here to work. He's not about the BS. He's not about to show up in my Rolls Royce, look at my look at my man purse that I paid twenty thousand dollars for. Everybody, look at my Louis Vuitton pants and loafers, and then go in the game and just like you look, you looked like a runway model walking into the game, and you played the game like a runway model. Tobias Harris, you know what I mean? At least the Anthony Melton shows up in a hoodie and is just, I'm here to ball. I'm not here for anything else. I'm here to ball, and he does it, and he does it on both ends, and he gives up. He, he's a young game. dude who's getting better and he's just like he just plays really really hard like i love him dude i yeah, yeah. he's the man he's he's an easy easy extension i mean you he's probably bring him back again for somebody to average eight rebounds per 36 at six foot two that's just all heart that's 100 percent all heart there's no other and way arms all heart and arms that dude's got the long arms dude <laughs> does he yeah dude his hands are dragging on the ground when he walks <laughs> his wingspan's crazy uh, anyway, and also uh, I bring this up from NBA University because DeAnthony Melton, uh, highest effective field goal percentage on contested catch and shoot attempts last season. DeAnthony Melton and Tyrese Maxey are number six and number seven in the NBA. And lo and behold, we hire Nick Nurse, whose entire career has been predicated on a movement style offense, ball sharing, not ISO, which is another reason just James Harden doesn't make sense here. Not ISO heavy, not one guy dribble the ball for 20 seconds and pass with five seconds on the shot clock. It's very movement-based, screen-based, pin downs, baseline, double screen, you know, fake screens. There's all kinds of stuff Nick Nurse does. And the scoring is all about catching and shooting, really. It's a, it's a catch-and-shoot offense. So you get DeAnthony Melton, who was great on catch-and-shoot attempts last year. Tyrese Maxey, obviously great on catch-and-shoot attempts. So two players that at least fit Nick Nurse's uh, style of play. And so I guess that's something that we can, you know, semi be excited about with this team is is Tyrese Maxey and DeAnthony Melton. And both of them being under 25 years old is nice, too. It would have been nice for Jalen McDaniels to be a part of that. Uh, I would love to hear the inside uh, information on that situation, you know, because I thought he would have been great in Nick Nurse's uh, offense and defensive schemes too, but we lost him. But, uh, you know, at least we got D-Melt. At least we got D-Melt, Greg. Jalen McDaniels, it hurts my soul when I wake up every morning to know that we traded Thibel and a second-round pick for a guy that we didn't play in the playoffs and now doesn't play on the team anymore. Yeah, that's horrible. That that's like Tremendous. that's that was the moment where I where you said you're wrong that Daryl Morey actually sucks. I gave up on this offseason cuz I'm like cool, let's wait whatever. I I don't mind not signing people. Wish we signed Malik Beasley. That would have been cool. He's like one of my favorite players in the NBA. But when we didn't re-sign Jalen McDaniels, I was like, "Oh, we don't care. That's cool. That's fine." <laughs> We like I get it now. Like we don't want to win. That makes and now it makes sense when you accept the fact that we don't want to win anymore. It's like oh okay, I can live with that. Yeah, I, I'm 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 at a loss for words. I I I think that will it doesn't make sense because again, Daryl passed up rumored anyway by the great Keith Pompey. Take it with a grain of salt, but that Daryl passed up some Ben Simmons trade scenarios that were. Uh, they could have got rid of a Tobias Harris contract and Matisse Thibel was the hang up in some of those negotiations reportedly that Matisse Thibel was untouchable. And then you traded him and another draft pick for Jalen McDaniels. And it looked like a great trade, but your psycho coach doc rivers refused to play the guy, which I joked about happening. And then it actually came to fruition. That's how just insane doc rivers is. And then Daryl, Bends over for Doc Rivers again and just lets him get away with it. And then you let him leave, you let Jalen walk anyway. And it just, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense because then, yeah, you traded Thibault, who you said was untouchable, and a first, uh, not a first, but a second round pick for Jalen McDaniels, who left. You got nothing. Right. right. I agree. 
Sixers are in a weird situation right now. Like they're in a weird situation. It's it's very a lose lose situation. So very very lose lose situation. It's for run it back, Philly. No frauds. No fanboys. No intros.